President Joe Biden vowing to respond after three U.S. service members were killed and dozens more were injured in an Iranian-backed drone strike at a U.S. military outpost in Jordan near the border of Syria in the Middle East. The soldiers identified Monday afternoon. The Pentagon said 46-year-old Sergeant Jerome Rivers, 24-year-old Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and 23-year-old Specialist Brianna Moffitt were killed. The president spoke about the attack while on a campaign stop in South Carolina Sunday evening. The White House released a statement on the attack saying, we know it was carried out by radical Iran-backed militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq. And have no doubt, we will hold all those responsible to account at a time and in a manner our choosing. John Kirby, the National Security Council spokesman, said the president is weighing his response options. He's met twice with his national security team yesterday and today. He's weighing the options before him. As he said yesterday, we will respond. We'll do that on our schedule, in our time, and we'll do it in the manner of the president's choosing as commander in chief. We'll also do it fully cognizant of the fact that these groups, backed by Tehran, have just taken the lives of American troops. Now concerns are rising over a retaliatory strike and if it could lead to a more widespread regional conflict as the Israeli Defense Forces continue bombarding the Gaza Strip to eliminate Hamas. During a media briefing, Iran's foreign ministry spokesman denied the Islamic Republic of Iran had anything to do with the attack, saying, resistance groups across the region do not take orders from the Islamic Republic of Iran. An Islamic Republic of Iran, while it does not welcome expansion of conflicts in the region, doesn't interfere in decision-making by resistance groups on ways of supporting the Palestinian people or defending themselves and their own people against aggression and occupation. Since the Israel-Hamas war started on October 7th, Iranian-backed militia groups have attempted to carry out more than 160 attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria. Sunday's drone attack was the deadliest day for the U.S. military since the U.S. pulled troops out of Afghanistan in August of 2021. And it brought swift bipartisan condemnation, with lawmakers on both sides calling for action against Iran. Representative Hakeem Jeffries saying, Praying hard for all affected. Every single malignant actor responsible must be held accountable. And Senator Lindsey Graham saying, hit Iran now, hit them hard. On Monday, Kirby repeatedly said the U.S. is not seeking a war with Iran. Kirby says whatever the U.S.'s response will be, he doesn't believe it will interfere with ceasefire negotiations happening between Israel and Hamas.